Did any of your ancestors own a coat of arms? Find out at findmycoat.com. Hello everyone, it's John from findmycoat.com and today we're going to talk about the Gregory coat of arms. Clan Gregor or Clan McGregor is a Scottish Highland clan whose origins trace to the 9th century AD. There is a tradition that Gregor was the brother of Kenneth McAlpin, or McAlpine, King of the Picts, although this tradition is disputed by historians. The McGregor clan crest is a crown lion's head with the motto, S. Realgal Mo Dream, which translates to English as, Royal is my race. One of the clan's most famous members was Robert Roy McGregor a Scottish folk hero who joined the Jacobite Rising of 1689 to support King James II, who had fled England the previous year. Robert married Mary MacGregor of Comar and had four sons with her. Sir John MacGregor Murray was a Scottish officer who served in the East India Company's army and eventually obtained the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He was born in 1745, the son of Major Evan Murray and Janet MacDonald. Although John was part of Clan MacGregor, or Clan Gregor, he had been forced to assume the surname Murray because of the clan's persecution and the outlawing of its name, which began in the 17th century. Now, his coat of arms was blazoned as follows when he was granted a baronetcy. Argent on an oak tree eradicated in Ben's sinister proper surmounted of a sword in Ben supporting on its points in the Dexter Canton and antique crown gules. Crest, a lion's head e erased crowned with an antique crown proper. Supporters, Dexter, a unicorn argent crowned and horned or sinister, a deer proper tined azure. Now he was granted a baronetcy in the baronetage of England, I'm sorry, in the baronetage of Great Britain on July 3rd, 1795. Shortly before his death, he adopted the name, the surname McGregor before that of Murray. Blackwood's magazine noted how zealously his later days had been devoted to promoting the best interests and maintaining the ancient character of his native country for enthusiastic patriotism, and unaffected loyalty. His only son, Evan John, depicted on the right, succeeded him in the baronetcy and had a successful military career himself, as well as a career as a colonial administrator in Dominica, Antigua, the Leeward Islands, and Barbados. Evan married and had five sons who lived into adulthood, as well as three daughters. The family is currently on its seventh baronet, born in 1959. The next coat of arms we had was granted to John Gregory in 1766 by the Lion Office. It is blazoned as follows. Argent, a fir tree growing out of a mount in base vert, surmounted by a sword and bend, and signed by a royal crown in the Dexter Chief point all proper. In the Sinister Chief and Dexter Base, a lion's head erased or crest, a spear proper. Now, John Gregory was an 18th century Scottish Enlightenment physician, medical author, and moralist. He was born in Aberdeen, the son of a professor of medicine, and the grandson of a distinguished mathematician and astronomer known as James Gregory. In 1764, John moved to Edinburgh where he established a medical practice and was appointed the first physician to King George III. John married Elizabeth Forbes and had three sons and three daughters with her, and what would become his most famous, famous publication, Gregory wrote A Father's Legacy to His Daughters, after the death of his wife in 1761, to honor her memory and record her thoughts on female education. Originally, Gregory meant 
only to give the text to his daughters when he died. But his son James published it in 1774, and it became a bestseller. Next we have the coat of arms of Gregory's Lords of Frisley, or two bars azure in chief, a lion passant of the last armed and legued gules. Crest, a demi boar rampant sable collared and crined or. This coat of arms is associated with the Gregory's of Stivechal Warwick and was confirmed to John Gregory Esquire, a descendant of John Gregory, Lord of Fresley Manor, who lived in the 13th or 14th century. And here we have Arthur and Francis Hood, children of Sir Arthur Gregory, along with their dog Nelson, depicted in an oil painting from 1838. Lastly, we have some older coats of arms in the Gregory family from feudal times. And the one that we have here is Azure, two bars, double cotoist or, and a chief, a lion passant of the last. This coat of arms belonged to Sir Henry Gregory, a knight banneret who lived during the reign of King Henry VI, which was from 1422 to 1461. Sir Henry was listed in the Arundel Roll, and he is depicted, I believe, here on the right in an ancient manuscript. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about your family and to find if any of your ancestors in your family tree had coats of arms, please visit us at findmycoat.com. Thank you.